hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back to another video big shout out to lillian.c or dot say for being the first in the notification family <laughs> So in today's video, we're going to be taming these brows. I'm going to show you guys how I do my eyebrows in the spirit of quarantine DIY. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. So we're going to get these brows from looking crusty dusty to looking prim and poised like this. So the products that I like to use is I like to start in with some thread. I prefer to use a color thread so you can really see it. And that's what, gonna, that's what we're going to be using to thread our brows. And also a colored liner, as well as some tweezers, a spoolie, and a razor blade. So what I like to start off by doing is combing my brows to just see the natural shape that they grow in and the shape that I sort of want them to be in. Once I've finished brushing them out, I'm going to go in with my liner and draw the natural shape of the brows. I like to do this with a coloured liner so you can actually see um, what you're doing. Do not use a brown or black liner. Try and use a coloured one if you have one. Once I've gone through and done that, I'm going to get some thread. I'm using white thread. It really doesn't matter what thread you use. Um, and I'm just going to measure about the size of the palm of my hand. Then I'm going to break off the yarn so that it's one yarn, not connected to the roll. And then I'm going to tie those two pieces of yarn together so that they create a circle. And this is what it ends up looking like. And then from there, you can twist it in your hands and then you can begin plucking out your hairs. But then you're going to grab that string and you're going to twist it and twist it and twist it again in your hands and that's what you're going to use to start threading your hair so we're going to go through the technique again essentially what you're doing is opening and closing your fingers and that knotted area in the middle it moves back and forth to pluck the hairs out what it does is that that area that's moving back and forth where the knot is gets knotted up with your hair and then it'll pluck out your hair at the root so essentially what you do is you put the thread down and then you put that little area that's knotted um, wherever you want the hair to be taken out. That's what's doing your plucking for you. Then you move in the opposite area of hair growth. So I use my left hand to do the movement of the up and down crocodile to pluck the hairs out. So as I'm doing this, I make sure that um, I continue to brush my hairs up so that my long pieces of hair don't get caught and accidentally plugged out. Now this does take some time to learn how to do. If you've ever gotten this done professionally, you would know that they're so much quicker than I am. I am still far, far behind. Um I also like to go through and just redo those lines if I feel like um, I've scrubbed them out just to make sure that you don't take out unnecessary hairs that you want to keep. And then once I've gone through and redrawn my lines again, I'll go back in with my, um, with my threading method to just pluck out some of those major hairs. The problem with threading is some of those little little hairs don't get caught that's when you go in with your tweezers and you begin plucking some of those hairs that are a bit more stubborn or that are just not coming out or they're a bit shorter than normal there's always those really stubborn hairs that never want to come out Once you've gone through and plucked your hair, I'm going to go back in and just redraw my lines. Once I've gone in and redrawn my lines, I'm going to go in with my razor and some lotion, just a tiny little bit of lotion to add some glide. Then I'm going to re-follow that line and get those really, really tiny pieces of hair that do not want to come out that are too short to be plucked. Do make sure when you're doing this that you use um, a good razor. The razor that I was using was very, very blunt. So I've gone in with a new razor and you're going to see that with the new razor, you will not have any problems at all. OK, 
careful not to get your full grown hairs there while you're at it. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go and do my, my next brow. And again, I'm gonna do the top of my brown line going in with the thread just to pull out those unnecessary hairs that are at the top. Once I've done that, then I go down the bottom again and I begin pulling out those long pieces of hair. Once I've gone in with that, I can go in with my little tweezers and tweeze those stubborn hairs that didn't want to come out during the threading process. Then again, once I've done that, I go in with my lotion. I'm just using any lotion that I have in the bathroom. Using that as a slip solution to go um, in with my razor under the line so that I can begin just removing those tiny, tiny pieces of hair that you can see that just make the brows look a little bit less neat. So once I've done that, my brows are done. Then I'm gonna go in with my cotton pad and my facial wash, and I'm just gonna remove all that red marking from my eyebrows. After I've done that, I allow the eyebrows to dry and then I'm going to go in with my Niacinamide Serum um, and this will just help with the um, cooling process after all that tweezing um, just to make sure I don't get any ingrown hairs and stuff like that. After I've done that, I just curl the brows to make them look good and yeah, that's the end. <laughs> this is what my eyebrows end up looking like after... So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys have liked the video. If you have a comment, make sure to comment down below your thoughts, whether you're going to try this at home. Be careful, please. <laughs> I will see you guys next week. Love you guys so much. Mwah.